I'm just at my desk today. I'm, I'm just more comfortable. Why is comfort key right now? Because it is the end of 2020. I'm gonna tell you guys one thing that you may never ever hear utter from my lips again. I think this look, it's too goth. I'm even wearing my anti-social goth girl shirt and I'm like, this is this is a little bit, but you know what? Today I'm making a video. I'm doing an Instagram live stream. I am doing a photo shoot after this, and I'm gonna try to find enough serotonin in order to edit this video. We'll see what happens. But I thought I would do something that I've been wanting to do for a hot minute. I want to do an end of the year video talking about the things that happened in 2020 that I loved. Great things. Not things so much that happened, but more like things that that brought me joy in this very odd year of our Lord. Let's start out with, I was introduced to Dungeons and Dragons, started my own campaign after five months of knowing what the game is, let alone like playing it. That's going to tie into a couple things that are my favorite things in 2020. I cut drinking into like a sixth. I cut my intake into a sixth. I feel great. I got to be the personal attendant to cousin Leah. She got married to the coolest cat I know this side of the Red River Valley. And I lost almost all the weight I put on in 2019. Because despite 2020 being a terrible year for almost all of us, uh, me included, it has been a lot better than 2019, just mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. So right here I have 10 things that I found that gives me life in 2020. These are just very small and significant to things that are, that are on a very, that make my life basically. They're in no particular order, so I'm just gonna go through it. The first one I'm gonna mention are LEDs. Um, okay, Laura, I said in a recent video that I think LEDs in bedrooms are gonna be like a staple piece for this generation. Um, though I don't have any in my room at the moment, and these being a trend have given me inspiration to actually play with them in 2021. And I talked about this before in another video and my dad actually got me something for Christmas uh, that I'll need to actually efficiently play with LEDs and implement them into my cosplays and I do hope to one day get LEDs and put them behind my bookcase just to like add some a little bit more flair because you can't really see but I do have like a couple blue lights in my bookcase. The second one is medieval renditions of pop songs. I don't know I needed this until it just came across my YouTube suggestion feed and I was like, damn, the slaps. And then I found compilations of songs from like the early 2000s to like songs that came out just last year. And I like to put it on just in the background, especially if I'm working on my next D&D campaign. It brings me really into the moment. Um, it doesn't have any verbal components. It's all instrumental. And it just reminds me of like A Knight's Tale when they danced David Bowie's Golden Years. Hi everybody, it is Editing Alora here. Remember back in my New Year's resolution video, I said I'm gonna learn how to spell February this year, but then it turns out I already knew how to spell February. I'm gonna replace that with learning how to spell medieval. That is all. Okay, the third thing is two things I actually sat down and watched this year. So I have also learned about myself this year that I am terrible at sitting down and watching a program and not wanting to do something while watching it. And I can only count these two things that I actually sat down and watched without sewing or crafting. And that is Birds of Prey when I was in theaters and Hamilton. Uh, and I watched it with my cat and she laid on me the entire time so I couldn't play with my phone. But Hamilton, I didn't particularly want to love because everyone and their mom loves Hamilton. So after I watched it the first time, I think the only time actually, I was like, okay, that, that, was, that, was, that was dope. And then I spent a day, two days, three days, and I was like, damn, I'm still thinking about it. So good on you, Hamilton. Which segues me into my fourth thing that I absolutely adore in 2020, which is Vox Machina by the Critical Choir. There we go. That's... Why was that so hard to say? It is a bunch of people that came together and they basically took the Hamilton songs and made them into Critical Role Vox Machina Campaign 1 parody or something. I, won't, I don't want to say parody because it's not supposed to be funny, but honestly, I've never watched Campaign 1 of Critical Role, at least not yet. After listening through it time and time and time again, I get the storyline, I get the gist of it, I love it. I sing to every single song. One of my good friends, Nick Norena, loves Hamilton. She'll live and die by it. I'm like, I don't know any of the songs. I just know the songs from the Critical Choir. Anytime I'm having a bad day or something, I just put on the entire album and we listen to Vox Machina, Hamilton, by the Critical Choir. Okay, number five, the fifth thing on my list here is Twitch because I actually started twitching this year. Right now at the moment, I do it every single Thursday night, two hours prior to Critical Role. Right now we're on the winter break, but I still stream at 
7 p.m. Central Time. I forget my own time zone, I'm sorry. I feel like I've gotten a lot of projects done because I'm in front of a camera and I have to do, go two hours. I always feel like I have to be working and that really pushes me in order to get projects done. Oh, number six was my meditation corner that I had for a hot minute. I filmed one video in front of it, but then I, I tried to downsize a little bit, which ended up pushing some things I don't need in my room to the wayside. I would still love to have a meditation corner up again. Maybe that will be a thing later this year. So maybe I should just say like number six is just learning how to meditate again. Namaste beach. Okay, number seven is a song that has haunted me for half this year. I absolutely love it. It's uh, by an artist named Pogo and here's his stuff right here. Uh -huh. It's called Data and Picard and it is a bop. It's, it's very haunting. It's basically another fan song. I guess that's been like the theme of this year. Number nine is Curl Carole because this year I drank the Kool-Aid and I started watching it because all of my friends would not stop shitting themselves over it, especially campaign two. And I kept avoiding it because it kind of got to that, that point of like being so popular that it was, it was obnoxious. Like a year ago, I was like one of those assholes who actually made fun of people who played D&D. I'll admit it, because I was a bad person in 2019. In February, like the week following up to the last convention I actually went to, I, I had to sit down and make this tokoyami foam head thing. Yeah, you guys know what it is. You know what it is. And I sat down every day for a couple of hours after work, and I just plowed through it. And I ended up watching like an episode an evening because that foam project was impossible. And after five, six, seven episodes, I was I remember being at the convention like, I want to get some dice and I kind of want to get the handbook. And now I'm a D&D player and I'm a critter and I have Yasha's uh, draft for the magician's judge right on the back of my door. And then segueing into that is number nine, which is Dungeons and Dragons, just as a whole, as being one of my favorite things in 2020. When I was able to play more often, I found myself being more better and assertive, like as a person, I feel like I made better decisions. I, but now as a DM, I have heard Matthew Mercer say that it does make you more empathetic. I feel like I feel that because I feel like I'm definitely more slow to get angry especially like the last half of this year. There's been some situations, very few that I can think of, that I will be totally set off. And I feel like more as of late, I can actually like think rationally and make rational decisions and think about things from different perspectives. And that's just one change I've noticed in myself after playing Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, my hair has gotten so long. If I put it back like that, this is what I look like with long hair. <sighs> that's just weird. And number 10, Gladys, come up here. Hi, baby. Oh. Number 10 is Gladys. This kitty is a little bit TikTok famous. I found her on the side of the road in June, June 8th of this year. She was under five pounds easily, and now she's a giant floof. She's missing a little bit of hair, but it's growing back. We're not really sure what kind of happened there, but she's very happy. She's very loving. She is my familiar, and I, I like to believe that she found me. She sings beautifully and thinks she pays taxes here. That is the conclusion of the 10 things that gave me life in 2020. I'll see you guys in 2021. Thank you so much for sticking around here and catch you on the flip flop. Bye-bye.